Welcome everyone, I'm Paul Mint Peeper and today I am having a look at Haunted Memories, a free to play game on Steam I know nothing about, just browsing through the free to play section, thought it looked like it might be interesting, it wasn't an MMO or you know, Dota so yeah it stood out slightly. We have the rather oddly blue night time. I think it's night time. Not really sure. What would you do if you walk up in a place you have never seen before? So yeah, I had a quick look in the options menu, very very bare bones, um, there is no options for subtitles, so we have to just try and listen to him, which by the sounds of things he's got quite a strong French accent, but if you can understand me, we can understand him. Right, so I'm using a Xbox 360 controller, it gave us the option uh, to use this and I thought, yeah, why not. Um, yeah, just start, brings that up. It's X to jump, which is weird, you would think it would be A, but no, X is to jump. Ok, uh, try and figure out what is run. Right, right bumper is run. Ok. A doesn't seem to do anything, B and Y don't seem to do anything, D pads aren't doing anything at the moment. So it's just obviously left thumbstick move, right thumbstick look around, although it feels like laggy. Can't actually hear the guy. Okay, he's reading that, so if you want to read what it says, just pause the video. Um, yeah, I don't know why they've got the voice act, uh, the voice acting basically right behind every other bit of audio. Flashlight, can I equip this? Can I equip this? Oh, right, okay. So it's back to bring up the menu. Flashlight. Right. Oh, a typewriter. Oh, uh, right, okay. Uh, I'm assuming this is inspired by Resident Evil with the typewriter to create a save point, I'm assuming. Uh, it's not actually like this. How can I not save this? Oh, there we go. Right. And. Is this. Batteries, is it? Yep. Right. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, no idea what this game's about. Uh, is it just a mystery or what? Whoa. What was that? That was, by the looks of things, fucking Slender Man. This is a Slender Man game. Seriously. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. All operations have ended in a success. Green Park Power Station is ready to receive new visitors. Area is secured and outside disturbance is not a concern. Really should have had subtitles like, you know, there, I can't find any option for subtitles but yeah, when the English is kind of that kind of broken then you do generally need subtitles. So we're playing a Slenderman game and I'm going to assume it has the rules of every other Slenderman game. We avoid him uh, walking around finding notes, I would imagine. Oh, there he is. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, it would help if we had any idea what we're doing. A camper van? What? Where is he? Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Right. Okay. Take two. Now we know we're playing a Slenderman game. Let's. Ugh. You know, this has actually sucked all the enjoyment out of what I thought I was going to maybe get from this game. Um, can I skip this? Press it, no. Press and start, back, all the buttons on my controller, no, it's not let me skip it. Let's see, escape, escape. Nope. Oh, we have to watch the intro again. What would you do if you walk up in the place? So after finding out that it was uh, basically a Slenderman type game, uh, I did, I played it, I, I was live recording, you know, my commentary, but yeah, it's just, it wasn't interesting, uh, I just dicked around the woods for long enough, came across obviously locked gates non-stop, had to find the keys, uh, every so often Slenderman would appear, or whatever they might be calling it for this game. Um, there was a female character who, I don't know if I was supposed to get to that part of the game already, not really sure, uh, but I got there. You know, it was, wasn't blocked or anything, uh, I just went, walked around, tried to interact with her, nothing happened. So, that was weird. Um, I then got a gas canister, which I missed right at the beginning and used that on the machine to get some of the lights working which then showed the video of the woman uh, Rosa I think her name was and uh, when I went to then go and interact with her uh, to interact with her uh, she had disappeared, there was a scream uh, you know, it's just the game feels very very amateur, no doubt it actually is amateur uh, I would have to say, graphics wise, the game is okay, you know, decent lighting effects I guess, everything's quite dark, uh, I mean it is better looking than Slenderman, I'll give it that, uh, it's animations and stuff aren't that great, uh, it's, you know, because it is so dark it's very hard to actually see anything, you have to be really up close and looking at it before it gets kind of highlighted, uh, yeah, I would just give... Even though it's free to play, somebody might, you might get enjoyment from this, you know, a couple of scares, but yeah, I would not recommend even downloading it for free to play. It's, I mean, I love, love horror games, but I hate this new brand of horror games where it's just jump scares, or, you know, it's not even jump scares to be honest, it's just, oh, something appears in front of you, run in the opposite direction, wait a bit, and then go back there. That's, I mean, it's, it's, you can really sense the game mechanics, it's, you don't get immersed, you're too busy thinking about, okay, so, I just, that's appeared there, I need to just go round the corner, wait it out, and it should be gone, because it's kind of randomly generated, so, go round the corner, and yeah, it's gone. Oh, and I also managed to get myself stuck in between rocks, uh, which I had to exit and restart, and I also, at the very end, uh, got myself stuck on like curtains, <laughs> I get stuck, don't know how, uh, yeah, so yeah, I would avoid.